Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Gearboy3366. Welcome back to an episode of Red Air Redemption 2. Last episode, I said we were going to Blackwater to uh, hopefully get a loan for an area in Blackwater. I, I don't really know where, and I have not played the first one in a very long time, so I don't really remember where it was, but somewhere around here, I want to say. But yeah, uh, I am not there, obviously, so I will talk to you guys in a bit, but uh, yeah, weird jump cut. And here we are. Here we go. What the hell just happened? Evening. Hola, señor. You know what? Who cares? Yes. Fell over for no reason. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> oh, that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. All right, here we go. Perfect. Now I just gotta figure out how to make money to actually pay for our lovely ranch. So I guess I'm going to the ranch? Oh, it's just right there. Huh. Alright. Oh, it's the old man. Gandalf. Help the blind. I can't give him a dollar. Help a blind man. Here. Yes, I will. I come. What the hell? Wait. Enjoy the what world. What happened? Well, you can. Enjoy today. 
But tomorrow. Holy shit. Tomorrow awaits us all. Did they get attacked by Indians? Okay. I guess I'll bear that in mind. What the actual It looks like Indians. Are you? F Are you actually serious? Okay, this bitch. Is All right. He done pissed me off. Where's my hat? Where's my hat, actually? There it is. Just get away from me. Damn bitches. I'm gonna investigate that. Came from there. Okay, I'm on the right trail. We got him now. Go. What the hell? Damn Indians. Think Indians. Go, bitch. Go over here. You must be the people that you warn me about. Okay. These must be the squatters. I'm assuming. Oh. Can I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Well, he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. I ain't giving him money. I paid for this place. Now. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. Whoa, whoa. Stick your head out, coward. Go on then. Uh, Bitch. This one's got your name on. Come here. Uh, it's not your land. It's, it's not. It's mine now. All right, take care of the squatters. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure 
about buying this place. It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm choking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> I'm just joking. He jokes a lot. All right. That's that's lovely. I'm owned by the bank. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I I thought you was dead, Uncle? boy. Dead. Uncle. The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a... Uh, Slow and oh, painful shit. death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Damn. I'm ready, Marston. Come on. Follow me. All right. Damn, everybody's dying by random diseases. Where are we heading? West. West. Oh, ain't you a man of few words? I ain't young like you. Hold on. I can tell. Don't run off anymore, okay? Anyway, you carry on. West. Oh, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh, her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. So, Uncle is joining us, I guess. Actually, I thought he'd be dead after a few years. Sounds like he's about to die. Slow, painful death. This is it. Look at her. Oh, 
Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise... Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Means I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. Making the best out of what he has. Nice. There you are, Missy. Building a fence and everything. Damn. But uh, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Next episode, we'll go talk to Uncle, see what other shit he wants to uh, bitch at me for. But uh, yeah, anyways, in the meantime, drop a like, leave a comment, and welcome to the revolution. <laughs>